Welcome back to my channel. I'm Felicia if you guys are new. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave any comments down below if any questions or anything you have to say. So on today's video I'm going to be doing what's in my fridge and freezer and what's in my kitchen. So let's get right into it. So here are my top shelf, middle and bottom and my door. So here I have my leftovers and this is a bottle of wine that we're going to have some tonight. And over here is the cheese drawer. Um, we also put um, any kind of cream in there. Or, yeah, it's basically cheese, yogurt. And then down here we put our fruits and vegetables uh, and celery. And then over on this section here, we got our silk, uh, milk, and then at the back there's yogurt. And then this product here um, is Chiara. She has these now they're baby food and then on this section over here she has her i mean on this section here is the meat and chicken and then our we have these tomatoes from costco and then back here we keep our butter this is the butter we have and our eggs go here and then these two here we have the vegetables and fruit. We don't really separate it, we just put our fruit and vegetables in there. And then coming over to the door here, we put our leftover eggs here if, face it this way. We put our leftover eggs here if the carton's almost gone. And uh, put our garlic in there, whatever small we can put in there. And then we have some Dijon mustard and some almond butter. Uh, we got some relish here, and I love this jam. It goes good on any kind of bread. Um, also pair it with some peanut butter, so that's that jam. Then we got some coconut water, and then this here is my mom's um, lemon water. We juice our lemons, and I put um, my lemons in the mason jars. A squeeze lemon. Then we got pineapple and mango um, jam, which is my mom's. And then here we have our pure vanilla extract in these little bottles here. And olives, a bottle of ketchup, everybody has ketchup in their fridge, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then here we keep this in our fridge, it's baking soda, it's supposed to keep your uh, fridge clean and you're supposed to replace this every month. Keeps it fresh. It keeps it fresh and clean. So your fruits and vegetables stay fresh for longer. And then moving down here we have peanut butter, apple sauce, unsweetened, we got some mayo. And we have two different types of uh, maple syrup. This one's my mom's. It's called Crink La maple syrup. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And then I buy this one here from Costco, the maple syrup, um, it's organic, and that's from Kirkland. Next is tahini sauce, we make hummus with that. And this is my mom's here, tropical peach that she hasn't had much of yet. <laughs> and this is a big jar of peanut butter, because we love peanut butter. And then over here, hot sauce and salad dressing. And moving down to the bottom shelf, we've got uh, minced cauliflower garlic. So we put that on our stir fries or on our chicken, pretty much anything we want garlic on. We've got our brown sugar, uh, sweet and sticky barbecue sauce from um, Guy Fier, I believe. And then we also got a second um, flavor, which is barbecue sauce Kansas style, smoky and sweet. So we love the barbecue sauces. And, and then we got lemon juice here. We're not really using it since we make our own lemon juice now. But that is the fridge. Um, in our freezer, we keep these ice, cru ice cube trays here. Um, they have mango in them. We freeze our baby food so we can uh, reuse it. So we make our own baby food. And then we have ice tray here. And then hash browns. Up here it's just a bunch of frozen bananas and carrots. Stuff like that. Our ice cute, our ice 
packs. Uh, ice packs go here. And then moving on to the main part, we got our gluten-free bread here. Focus. Yeah. And we get this for about eight bucks. That bread. Now we got a bunch of fruits in the back, like raspberries, strawberries, uh, mixed fruit. And then our bread we freeze when it goes expired. And then moving over here, we've got some rogies, uh, some Halloween candy that we froze. And our meat usually goes back there, like our ground beef or our chicken. And then our fish goes on this section here. This is my mom's chicken, my mom's fish. And then I have my fish right here. It's the wild Alaskan sole. And then back here, some more vegetables, Brussels sprouts. Mainly the freezer is for bread, fruit, um, vegetables, and fish and chicken meat. Oh, and also we put uh, her teething ring in the freezer too. I just wrap it up in this um, paper towel here and we just put the teething ring in there so it keeps cold. So that is the tour of that. So this is a 360 view of my kitchen. So coming over here, we start with the fridge. And then over here we have our knives and scissors. Back here there is cutting boards and we also have a little one right over here. And then we keep our bowls here couple of them anyways. This is the bottle warmer for Kiara and her spoons to stir her milk. Our paper towel, uh, kettle, essentials, you know. And then back here, I have all my brown rice in there. And then we start with, actually we'll start up here. The top uh, cupboard over the fridge, there is um, Ziploc bags. Uh, our KitchenAid mixer, formula, Kiara cereal. So we keep Kiara's stuff up there. And then moving on to the this cupboard here. At the very top, we keep our bottles and baking dishes. And then this, um, what do you call this? This level here would be our mason jars, uh, coffee mugs. See how we have our coffee mugs here. The back, just covered. And then on this shelf is our bowls. And that thing right there is Kiara's bottle holder. Then down here we have Kiara's bowls and our, our um, bullet, uh, magic bullet cups. And then our tea kettle, plates, and that's that cupboard is where we keep all of our glasses. So our mugs over here for coffee and the glasses, the measuring cup on over there. And then we keep our tall glasses there and then some bottles, some serving dishes. And at the very top is mainly just uh, plastic wine glasses and baby um, essentials like the teethers, the bottles, uh, soothers. Anything she doesn't really use right now. And then moving over to this cupboard, we've got our oatmeal in here and some dishes to cook with and some more bowls for baking, containers, containers, and then more containers. And we got some applesauce up there and some mixed nuts. Moving over to this cupboard, this is where we keep all of our baking essentials. So the very top we have our flour and our chocolate chips. And then this thing here I created, it's a tea holder. So I just organized my tea um, per flavor, like the nighty tea, night tea. So if you want to sleep better, you can drink this tea. Steep teas. So I have this one here, which is called uh, fruit tea, wild tropical punch. And then I have this one. And that one is called the Amaretto. So we keep those up there. And then we got our baking powder. 
the, some coffee we might throw out because we don't like Tasha's Choice anymore. It's, used, it's one of the coffees we used to have. And then we got our all-purpose flour for baking. And here, sink. So this is where we keep our sponges for all sorts of things. This one here we do for pots and pans. And that we do for the rest of the dishes and that's just to scrape off oil or grease. And then we have the brush for Kiara's bottles. Our soap we usually change up. We are liking the palm olive. Palm olive. And then moving over here, this is pretty much Kiara's section. Has her bottle sanitizing, her grass drying tray, and her bottle for the next feeding. And then, and then I have this here. It's just a jar, like a mason jar kind of thing. And I put all the essential tool, um, like spatulas and stirring sticks and whisk in there. Stuff I use every day, so it's just easy access to get to. We'll look at this cupboard here. So the very top, there's just a bunch, just a whole bunch of random things like pickles and Ziploc bags and just my mom's container, my mom's shelf. <laughs> Let's just say that. Then we got our oven mitts, uh, some spices. Uh, this here is granola, and then V8 cooking spray in the back. And then this shelf here is where we keep our chia, hemp, and raisins. And then these little things here are teas. They're loose, loose leaf teas. And then peppermint oil. This is um, funnel seeds. And then we got some peppermint and mint extract. Going down here, we have pepper and salt. Um, all of our different spices. And that's cookies. And chips. Those are beet chips. And then we keep our lentils in there, sealed container, and we have ow, my hand. And tea right here, and then over here there is rolled oats and some containers for crackers on the go. And then this is our um, crackers that we eat most often. I just have it on a slant because it won't fit otherwise, so it's pita bites. And um, we got our beans there, our tomato paste, our pasta. So that's that covered right over the oven. And then coming over here, we have our stepping stool to reach anything that we can't reach. And we have these two uh, cutting board islands. So down here we keep our hot pads to put any hot pans on and an apron. Some protein powder and um, what do you call these things? Breadcrumbs. Then we put our potatoes right here. And these are sweet potatoes. These are regular potatoes. This is my mom's shelf here. And then down here we keep our bananas, avocado, limes. And then out here we put our cooking books. And then that's more of my mom's shelving garbage, our green bin to go shopping with. And then we have the micro microwave stand. So we have our coffee station here, our coffee brewer, and then we have our coffee beans and our filters. And then this here is the, the aquatarium, pronouncing that wrong, <laughs> but that's what that looks like. So it's like, rocks at the bottom, dirt, and a plant growing inside. And down in this uh, cupboard here, we have our cereals, her magic bullet. Uh, this is for the um, food processor, uh, lunch pails. Down here, that's the food processor cereal box and our crock pot. So not too much in there. Uh, down here we have the blender, our oils, cooking pans. Uh, we got some, um, what do you call these things? Some sparkling juice, our coconut oil, our rice, our quinoa, and our honey. All goes in there. Oh, we got some waffle maker down there too. And then here we have our drawer. So we have our cutlery in here, uh, a bunch of measuring scoops. Um, just knives, twine, some shaker bottle, protein shakers. 
Next one we have our containers, which we, so we got our plastic containers here. As I showed you before, we have our glass containers where we keep our measuring bowl and our measuring cups and our plastic baggies. And then this, I put all my vegetables in here to keep the vegetables fresher. And I believe that's it. Oh, dishwasher. Under the sink, there is cleaning supplies, garbage bags, and then um, cupboard here, we got our utensils. This uh, drawer here, we got our pots and our pans. Well, just pans, one pot. And then this is the rest of the pots. That's where that goes. And that is an overview of the kitchen. So that is the tour of my kitchen and inside my fridge. Thank you so much for watching this video. I post every Wednesdays and Fridays. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And check out these other videos as well. And I do have a daily vlogging channel, so I'll leave that in the link down. I'll leave the link to that in the in the description box. So once again, thank you for watching. Bye.